Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we are going to talk about the Ethical Hacker course of Cisco. This is available free on the Cisco Networking Academy platform. Okay, so anybody can take this one. Now, there are a few questions that we are going to answer about this ethical hacker like, is this worth my time? Is it for me? What if I am a beginner? What if I am a seasoned IT professional? What do I expect, right? So for me, I just uh, want to give you a quick background. I have an in-depth knowledge with networking, servers, Linux terminals, web apps, uh, deployment, those kinds of things, all right? So first, let's take a picture on a um, person who is a newbie. Uh, let's just say he's starting his journey with IT. So basically, a little bit of uh, idea about information technology, right? That's the first stage. So if you are this student trying to learn ethical hacking, this is a good course for you. However, this is rated as intermediate level in the Networking Academy platform. And if you're a beginner, there would be an extra reading that you need to do. Um, also, this is rated at around 70 hours of learning. However, depending on your current background, because this will take you um, to understand uh, the basics of networking, the basics of servers, the basics of um, what you call this one, database, the basics of web apps, those kinds of things. You don't need to have an in-depth knowledge, but it helps if you have an idea. It doesn't mean that if you do not have that idea, means you cannot take this one. Yes, of course you can take it, but you need to have an extra reading or learning. So it would take you maybe around 100 hours because you need to go back, try to research what does this do, what does that do kind of thing. Now, if you are in the uh, mid-level, that's why it says intermediate, probably would take 70 hours. But for me, who was an experience, I was going, I was just keep reading a lot of things. And um, probably if I'm going to rate it, I spend around two weeks, around five to six hours, depending on how I spend my free time on reading these ones, because there are a number of things that I know, but there are also good ideas. Mostly if you have experience like definition of terms, um, it would define the stages of ethical hacking, introduce you to these um, concepts in cybersecurity, um, it would give you an idea of these regulations, organizations that govern cybersecurity. At the same time, it would actually introduce you the tools that are being used in ethical hacking and the tools that are being used that are the same with ethical or unethical. And it doesn't necessarily mean that if you finish this course, you are an expert in ethical hacking. No. Basically, on the course, um, for me, going through that cycle was there are ideas that are being introduced like a refresher for an experienced professional, right? Now, when it comes to this, there are also tools that are being introduced, but you don't need to go ahead and be an expert because it's defining um, these tools on how they are being used, how you use it. And there are also straightforward laboratory instructions that you're going to follow so that you're going to try and use these tools, understanding how it works and trying to have that experience, uh, mostly using Kali Linux and the terminal. As an experienced professional, you're going to learn also new things uh, if you're not into ethical hacking. For me, I did uh, basic ethical hacking around seven years ago. I got interested with it, but I did not continue because of work and other things, okay? so. I have used uh, some tools before and I have a base understanding of how these things works and how do you attack and how do you defend and of course networking kind of creating rules and firewall rules. I have experience of those kinds of things. So if you are an experienced professional, that would be quite an easy one for you. So probably you spend around 20 hours and there are actually built in um, chapter quizzes that you need to pass at around 70%. So that was what I'm, I was actually doing, like trying to go over that one, trying to pass every quiz. And then in the final exam, you need to pass, I think that was 80% of the 50 questions. So I was able to pass that one. I wasn't looking into perfecting this one. So like, okay, it's stock knowledge. Okay, I know this one, I know this one, I know this one, and bam, bam, bam. Okay, so 
this is good for beginners, uh, mid-level uh, IT professionals and professionals also. It, for me, it kind of refresh the things that I know and kind of sharpen your memory about uh, cybersecurity and how do this apply into your field. So I recommend this course for, um, uh, for everybody who wants to like refresh or learn something, especially that it is free on the Cisco Networking Academy. At the same time, if you are a beginner, the good thing is after you finish the course, Cisco would give you a badge uh, on Credly, at the same time a certificate that you can publish on LinkedIn so people can see that you have finished this course, but it doesn't mean again that you are an expert, but the thing is you have an idea, you went through this course and you, you did these uh, laboratory kind of things, all right? So experience is different from course, all right? So you need to understand that one. The next question is, why did I take this course, all right? So before I started this one around five months ago, but I stopped because I was a little bit bored of a lot of reading. But then Cisco announced this certificate in ethical hacking, offensive security. And I got interested with it. They made the ethical hacker course a prerequisite in getting this certificate from Cisco and they said it never expires. So it took me to a place where, okay, I'll go finish that ethical hacking course and get this certificate in ethical hacking, all right? So it's basically capture the flag challenge. You cannot take this challenge if you, f if you did not finish the ethical hacker course on Cisco, all right? Now, when I finished that ethical hacker course, I went and jumped into this challenge and I was looking at it and I said, is it hard? Is it easy? I never had an experience with, with a capture the flag challenge. So I was like, is it easy? And I went to go and see the time and it says 45 minutes and it's easy. So I said, okay, I'll just go ahead. So you need to pay for this one $100 before you can take because you're going to do a, an online or virtual lab that they're going to provide you. Maybe that's why you're paying it for $100. So I went on pay and then I went through the steps and it was quite easy, you know? It's easy. If you went through the course of Ethical Hacker, even if you're a beginner, you, you definitely finish this one. Now, the thing is there, there was a part in the midsection question that I was like, I don't know if I was understanding it well, what is being asked or the question itself is some, there's something wrong with the question because I, I saw a lot of thumbs down there, but then I was able to figure it out and I was able to answer. And then by the time that you finish that one, automatically you will have a badge from Cisco saying you are, you have a certificate or a badge of offensive security and certificate in ethical hacking. So I got it. You can see it on my LinkedIn. I'll put it also here. If you're starting your career in ethical hacking or cybersecurity, it will be all good if you want to get the ethical hacking certificate. All right. So back to you guys. See you on my next video, guys.